These three products all claim they can stop you from doom scrolling. I purchased all three, tested them in real life, and in this video, I'm breaking down exactly how they compare. Because on the surface, they all do seem a little similar. You have little blocks, cards, keychains connected to an app that are supposed to block your distraction. But they all come with quirks, some good, some bad. So stick around because at the end, I'll tell you what product I've personally chosen and actually use every single day. One more thing before we get started, each of these companies has hooked me up, well, really hooked you up with a 10% discount for each one of their products. You can find those links in the description below. Okay, in 20 seconds or less, why this matters. Most screen time apps are very easy to ignore. These three products force you to use a physical solution. And I can honestly say firsthand, something about it works. It makes a massive difference and my screen time has gone down by like 80%. Okay. That's why it matters. Let's get into what they are. First up, the block. This is either a card or a keychain plus the app, and it's priced at $29, and you can add a membership for added features. Next up, you have the brick. This is a small magnetic brick <laughs> plus the app, priced at $59. Lastly, we have the bloom. This is a stainless steel card plus the app at $39. Something to mention here, all of these apps themselves are free to download. Okay, but why you're here? Let's compare. So I've actually spent a good bit of time creating a chart to help compare the features and specs of these products and apps. So I'm gonna throw it up right here and I'm not gonna be long-winded on this part. You can go ahead and pause the video right now if you wanna read over this, but it's pretty self-explanatory and hopefully helps break down some of the biggest differences and similarities in these products. Okay, jumping now to how they actually work. This video would be very long if I did a full tutorial on each app. However, hold on, wait. I'm skirting this because I've already done this. I have three videos out on this channel that are legitimately full breakdowns. The setup, the intuitive nature of each app, tricks, tips, unique design, all of that. So I've put together a playlist right here, but if you wanna finish this first, go ahead and subscribe. Then you can easily find that playlist afterwards. One of the biggest questions with these apps, with these products, we're just human, we have to know, can you cheat it? Can you, can you delete the app? What does that look like? I'm gonna break this down right here for each product. Starting with the brick, you have strict mode, which you truly cannot delete the app. Very hard to cheat. And then you also have non-strict mode, where you have five emergency bricks. Next up, Bloom, they also have a very similar strict mode. You can't delete the app, but then they offer something called breaks, and you can choose how many breaks you want in the day from zero to three and how long you want those breaks to be. Lastly, Block, they offer something similar, strict mode and then a normal mode. Their normal mode, this is interesting though, they have three emergency blocks and if you want to gain additional emergency blocks after you use those three, you have to pay for them. It's either $4.99 for one emergency unblock or three for $12.99 and all proceeds go to charity. So kind of cool. All right, almost done here. Let's just go through daily use case and buyer's guide. So for something like the brick, this is best if you want the strictest option. This is great for students, young professionals who want zero temptation. And also great if you want a really simple, clean interface. Next, the bloom. This is kind of best all around. Works well for parents, kids, has tons of flexibility. You can even block things like in-app purchases, app installs, adult content, a lot of different features. And then last, Block, I would say best for iPhone users as they don't support Android just yet. And it is at this point the cheapest option, but just know you'll run into some paywalls if you want some added and advanced features. Okay, to wrap up this video, as I mentioned, I did wanna tell you what product I actually use every day to reduce my screen time. But before I do that, one quick thing, if you could just do me a super small favor, if you do choose to move forward and buy one of these products, if you think it'd be helpful for your life, go ahead and use one of the links below. You get 10% off, I get a small kickback, and it helps me make more videos like this. If you don't wanna do that, no problem whatsoever. Another way to support is liking or subscribing the video. It does wonders in the YouTube world. All right, enough procrastination. What did I choose? I choose the brick. Now, confession time, I really like all of them, but brick has been with me the longest. It's the one I keep going back to. It's my true love. I keep it stuck right on my refrigerator and it's just simple. I just use what works for me. I will say, and I honestly, honestly mean this, 
they're all great. The others probably even have more bells and whistles, but I just kind of like how Brick keeps it low key. Again, if you want to deep dive specifically on each one of these products, I made a playlist. I'm sure it's somewhere around here and the videos are also in the description below. Thanks again for watching, for consuming this content. It means the world. And until next time, see you later.